Hello my beautiful gems. Today I'm going to show you what I like to do with natural gas geysers and oxygen not included. You can usually find one or two of them on every map and I like to utilize them for lots of oxygen, water, better food, and to potentially power your entire base. I'm going to show you my finished setup first then go back to how it's made. So first things first, you gotta build yourself a manual airlock. Secondly, you bring yourself up to the natural gas geyser and you clear this shit out. I also walled up this area because this is actually the entrance that I used to find this natural gas geyser. Despite the fact that it was literally right above my base, I'm stupid, but it happens, so hey. Um, clear this shit out. Um, you want to have Honestly, airflow or mesh tiles work out for all of these things. What you do want specifically mesh tiles for is underneath your natural gas generator, because natural gas produces, uh, the natural gas generator will produce polluted oxygen, which we want to pool right under it. Um, so my initial setup here was with the natural gas geyser, coal generator, and smart battery. You can have automation to uh, help yourself with the power issue, so set all of that up. Just You only need one natural gas pump to so just pump all this shit up. Um, you want a gas filter so that you're only getting, obviously, the natural gas into your natural gas generator, as well as, later on, throwing it down into your base where you can add this lovely gas range where you have such amazing food it's fantastic for your base although you will want to have one or two of these gas reservoirs just because um this natural gas geyser has an eruption period of an active period of 70 cycles for every 99 cycles so that means for 29 cycles it will be dormant my next dormancy is in approximately six cycles so once that goes dormant, it will not be producing any more of this lovely natural gas for me. So I make sure to have stock a, a huge stock of natural gas so that I can maintain all of this lovely, lovely food. You can do the same thing if you wanted to. Like, honestly, I could throw another one of these gas reservoirs. Um, I'm just going to say over here. Um, I could probably put it like above right over here. Um, and then I can throw in some gas yeah. I could throw in a gas pipe and circle all that around so that I can actually have more natural gas but I won't nope sorry sorry my dupes um because I don't really need it and that's because um your natural gas generator will also create carbon dioxide so one of the other things I learned in another YouTube video was this water sieve and carbon skimmer allows you to just get rid of all carbon dioxide in an area. The carbon skimmer uses um, fresh water. It uses fresh water and emits polluted water. But the water sieve uses polluted water and creates fresh water. So it's a perfect little loop here. It only costs, what, um, 240 watts total, which is nothing. Um, and you can get rid of all of your carbon dioxide. I actually have this system in two other places in my base, one down here and one over here, because that's where I was just getting the most carbon dioxide in my base. Um, then, once you have these two things, um, I like building, this used to be just like one of these things. I literally just like, dug out from the water and then just threw a ladder right up in the middle uh, from the water so that way it was already waterlocked and airtight so like nothing else was getting in here I had a single ladder coming in um, where I was able to build an electrolyzer with two gas pumps electrolyzers um, give you 888 uh, grams of oxygen and like 122 grams of hydrogen which is a thousand kilograms or one kilogram a thousand kilograms I don't know I'm not good at math 
Either way, I got lots of stuff coming in here. I don't know why I constantly have polluted oxygen, but I do. It's fine. Um, either way, you're going to have this lovely little set of oxygen coming out, as well as little bits of hydrogen. I have another gas filter that I have sending up into a hydrogen generator. Wow. The reservoir just went down by a lot. That's interesting. Uh, it goes up to a hydrogen generator, so now I can use both a natural gas and a hydrogen generator to power this whole system. I mostly just have a coal generator in here as like a backup. You can just leave it on low. Uh, I don't care about the fuel request threshold. It honestly should rarely even get used. Most of your power is going to come from natural gas generator. An extra supplement is going to come from your hydrogen. Um, if you wanted to one up this system, uh, once you get your operating skills up high enough, you could create a power control station make a little room and have natural gas, coal, and hydrogen generators all tuned up so that the hydrogen and natural gas generators would be putting out 1200 watts instead of 8 and the coal would be producing 900 instead of 6. It's a lot, but it's great. Um, I don't bother with it, I don't need to, I don't care to. Um, but either way, you need to have this liquid pump down here in the middle of your in the middle of your polluted water uh, that way it's just gonna go up into your water sieve and then you have all of this lovely fresh water that you could ever want your fresh water is gonna get electrolyzed and then ba -da 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 -da. yeah the the satisfaction this brings oh this was beautiful